hi guys hi guys hi guys you're most welcome back to my channel all right guys i bet just look down and go see something you don't see i'm yes click on that like button click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and also comment eh say do na say do na eh say do na why would i know they like my videos say do na and you know they enjoy them mm -hmm. okay hey, if you're not enjoying my videos let me know let me know the complaint down below in a polite way then i'll look into it and improve there's no me without you no me without you guys so guys um the three will bring on her today about candy b candy b we say she don't become choma b okay this is my palasa kbfs candy b we say she don't become choma b all right guys so on top of this matter nigeria still show gana say they be their senior brother why i talk so you gonna know in the course of this video all right guys so candy b came to nigeria you know she enjoyed herself you know she was so so happy to the extent that she even thought of giving back to the society you know she went to the motherless baby home you know she gave back so for you to know how excited she was she said her name is now choma and her her daughter's name is now ayo daily or something i remember and tell you guys so she now said her daughter's name is ayo daily like she was so so excited and all of that if she was not happy she wouldn't have been doing all these things she wouldn't have been saying all these things and then she was now you know you know talking about nigeria in a positive way because a whole lot of people are scared of coming to nigeria even people that are not even celebrities even normal people in fact even african countries self no be even you both self they are scared other african countries are scared of coming to nigeria because all because of all the things that they have been hearing but as she came she oh she, she came with positive vibes and and then she's also seen that oh it's not really what they were telling her i'm sure when she was planning on coming to nigeria it a whole lot of people might have been discouraging her don't come don't come don't come because some people feel safe you come nigeria you go me. that's what some people feel but i thank god she came she saw that nigeria is a beautiful place she saw that we are hardworking people she wanted to enjoy our jollof rice and then it's just like something so she was always going on 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 insta um insta story saying a lot of good things and positive things about nigeria like she was really really enjoying herself that she you don't even need anybody to tell you that this lady was really really enjoying herself here in nigeria i was even thinking I said, ah, let her not come and relocate to nigeria when she comes she's highly welcome so as a result of how she was enjoying the place she now decided to, to you know to give back you know she, she, she decided to give back despite her busy schedule she went to the orphanage you know the according to her her manager they said she bought so many things so many as many as their car could contain so you can imagine her excitement you can imagine her excitement guys and that orphanage they are so 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 lucky so if you are here you are just enjoying yourself you don't remember the orphans try to remember the orphans so i am not just telling you i'm telling you from what i practice if you watch um okay it's not on this channel it's on the other my channel you see where i went to um maybe i'll show you some clips here of where i went where i when i went to the orphanage you know you know sometimes these people we just need to be remembering them we need to be remembering them imagine someone that doesn't have a family doesn't have no Nobody and a lot of people they don't see it as a culture me I see it as a culture I'm not gonna tell you my contribution but it's between me and my core there all right guys so yeah that's basically it so she went to Ghana it was a different story different story entirely different story first of all she started stooling 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 secondly the organizers of the show they they just all what they did was just a colossal failure hey, this kind of grammar <laughs> this is my grammar okay was well, just a failure guys so the thing there is that let me give you a rundown first of all they went and mobilized their celebrities they said oh candy is coming candy is coming that she's gonna have a a, a a a a meet and greet with you guys meanwhile they didn't even tell candy b that 
this 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 was gonna happen so these people came and waited for a good seven hours and candy b was nowhere to be found and all they were telling them is that candy b is upstairs eating kebab and all of that so they were angry so a lot of them were just angry you know you know sometimes uh, intimidation comes with anger is it because maybe a hollywood celebrity came into ghana and then maybe just a little thing that happened they were not even patient enough you know to even listen to what happened before they now drew their conclusion they were like oh is it that she's looking down on us because we are we are celebrities from ghana and all of that so the the whole thing was just something else they did not just say that say it there they did not just complain but they now drag the issue to social media and they were ranting on social media and all so when candy b had that uh, that people were were there they came to meet and greet her so um she felt bad she felt bad actually and then she now uh, apologized to them that she's so so sorry for not coming that she had a running stomach and then she was also not informed that they were coming and she had a runny stomach and she also had to take a nap so that was it but i think as the the the, the, the news kept on training it got to her and she was not happy about it she now made a live video on her insta story and she was like she doesn't like people thinking that she looks down on them because she's not that kind of person and she said a whole lot of things and even when she went for one of the show like the show organizers are that's why i say we nigerians we are we are still senior brothers like we proof at least if not to anybody to candy be that we are still senior brothers when it comes to all these things so if you are from ghana please 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 don't come for me but it's what happened i'm just talking about so let's get right into the gist so um one of the um i think that same day or i don't know she she were uh, they were even fans were so angry because after the first performance and uh, after a couple of performance it took one hour for uh, the next person to come and perform so they just started like they were so angry you know throwing bottles on stage you know all those kind of things you know for a big celebrity to, like candy b to come for a show and then that show was not well planned then <laughs> that means it's just it's just something else like seriously it's something else you know someone that she's a sensation in hollywood it's not Gary and being so or moy moyo to be a sensation in Hollywood. That's that means you are a global sensation. Then you are coming, uh, you're 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 coming into Ghana and then they, they are not prepared for you at all. The organizers are not prepared for you. And we even hear small and say they paid eight hundred thousand dollars that that's not small money if you convert it to nigerian currency that is not small money i'm not sure i didn't hear it from a verified source and they say ninja paid one m dollars not from a verified source anyway just small small and maybe that we are picking from every corner so that is zit you can imagine the kind of money that they are wasting just for candy b to come all right guys so if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. See you on my next video. Stay beautiful.